everybody at Mountain Sun. Miss Claire coming at you with a quick ole, ole, namaste. I wanted to practice and remind everybody that we can do yoga with our hands and our fingers. And often the symbolic gestures or seals um, can be called mudras. And a mudra, we can use a mudra to shift our energy from our mindset or something that we're currently experiencing um, into a way or an expression of how we want to feel. So a mudra can help shift our moods. Mudras, exactly. So I wanted to go through some that I know you all are familiar with and some that we can do yoga um, at any time. We can do these at any time to help shift our mood. So if you will join me, first of all, with a few that we just know that we do all the time um, and giving signs of encouragement, we might give somebody two thumbs up. Uh, we might wish our friends and neighbors peace and pause. We might cross our fingers if we're insinuating that we wanna wish somebody good luck. Um, another thing that we do is Anjali Mudra, where we bring our hands to our heart center, and I will often call these our grateful hands or our prayer hands. Anjali Mudra, you can open up into our Lotus Mudra. So take your hands and let your pinkies come together, the heels of your hands, and then your thumbs and your fingers spread open like an lotus flower opening. This is a great mudra we can practice when we want to feel ourselves feeling a little bit available, or we want to feel more available, or open-minded, or we can remind ourselves that we're beautiful even in tough times. One that we often do is the love multiplier. So we can start with just a heart right above your sternum there thumbs together and then take your index fingers and bring the pointer fingers together and then take that heart and multiply that love and send compassion and good vibes out to everybody out there beautiful love multipliers one that we've practiced a lot at mountain sun We'll do the Gyan Mudra, which helps us focus and helps our concentration. So often when we're sitting in easy seat, you can't see my legs down there, but they're there. Um, and so we'll just bring our index fingers and our thumbs together. And then the three fingers stay straight and lifted. And we can just drop our hands to our knees. And just take several breaths here. Another mudra that can help bring us tranquility or calm us down or help bring us inner peace is just place your right hand on top of your left hand, palms face up, and just rest the top of the right hand down into the palm of the left and then maybe let your thumbs touch. Just hold that right in your lap. A few breaths. And then our favorite, and I love seeing the kids walk around at school doing the courageous heart mudra or the fearless heart mudra. So you can teach your parents this one at home if they don't already know it. We'll lift our arms up, goalpost arms. Feel yourself feeling really strong. Maybe make some fists. Feel yourself powerful and strong. And then cross your heart. We're going to bring the backs of the palms together. Hook your pinky fingers. So all the other fingers are dangling. We're going to skip your ring finger. Hook the middle fingers. And then you have your ring, your index fingers rather, still dangling. Hook those index fingers. And then we're going to take our ring finger and our thumb and seal them together. 
feel a nice stretch in your hands and then bring that courageous heart right to your sternum right to your heart center you roll the shoulders up to your ears draw them back lift your heart and i hope that everybody is feeling courageous and fearless Release the hands and come back to that love multiplier. I'm sending all of you lots of love. Lots of focus. Lots of tranquility and peace. I'm sending gratitude and prayers for well-being. Of course, we'll end this session just like we always do. Everybody reach your arms out, drop your hands to your heart center, back into Anjali Mudra, grateful hands, and then give me peace, pause, shanti, ole ole, namaste. Adios.